after the college, basically you work for Microsoft almost like more than four years. Yeah. Um, so what were your main takeaways from such a big company like Microsoft? Why did you decide to move from a big company like Microsoft to a smaller one? Hello guys, welcome to Developers in Dev. Now we have Rachma from Deliveroo, and this one is the long interview, right? So the idea is basically bring Rachma knowledge, advices, tips for junior engineers and for those of you that are leading and managing people. So I'm Jorge Ferreiro, the host of this program and also software engineer at Eventbrite. I'm so excited about having Rachma here because Rachma is a leader, she cares about a, a lot about people and she's really, really amazing. Ragma is right now working for Deliveroo. Before that, he, she was in Microsoft, IBM. Waltfront. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of amazing different companies. So that is really, really interesting background. So let's get it started. So Ragma, please, can you introduce to the audience who you are? What are you doing? Cool. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Rahma Javed. Uh, I'm a director of engineering at Deliveroo. I lead the restaurants group. And before that, I was at Waltfront, where I led the financial services area and led the launch of two significant products, 529 and Portfolio Line of Credit. And before that, I date back to Microsoft and then Toronto. Um, so, yeah. So basically, you studied computer engineering mm -hmm. in Toronto, as yeah. you said before. So what did you learn from those years in the college? I think I learned a lot of just persistence and I learned the ability the fact that so when you do computer engineering you're not just doing programming like my our department was connected with electrical engineering too so half my courses were electrical engineering in fact I could have graduated with that degree as well um, so you just learn a lot of like core engineering principles like starting from the start and then you focus on the computer engineering ones how did you get the most out of the university I think I got the most out of the university by taking like you know a lot of different courses and actually finally realizing that software is what I wanted to actually focus on Awesome. So during the years of, of the university, uh, basically you worked for IBM and BlackBerry. Yeah. Which is real cool. Yeah. So how did you do it? How did you prepare yourself for those opportunities? Uh, so University of Toronto, um, like you know traditionally has like a PAY program which is a whole year placement after third year um, but with that I would have ended up graduating in five years and I was like a lot more um, I wanted to graduate in just four years so I was like okay I need to do summer internships and yeah I think for me it was about just going out there and applying for jobs yourself um, and like applying for internships directly and yeah that's how I got placed and doing a bunch of interviews I remember at RIM I ended up having like so many job interviews that like you know I had probably about like 10 different interviews um, in that process and then you finally figure out you're like okay this is a job or internship I really want to go for so, so it's all about perseverance as you mentioned before exactly it's all about perseverance um, and trying different things because unless you try different things you really don't know what you actually like or what you don't so so what did you learn from those first professional experiences um, I think I learned about like how it is to like for example IBM was like a lot more of like a bigger company RIM was probably a bit smaller of a company at that point um, and I just learned what it's actually like to work in a professional software um, industry as opposed to being in the classroom and what the expectance like what the expectations are of being in the professional world versus being like again in your own like college um, classroom that's really awesome so after the college basically you work for Microsoft almost like more than four years yeah um, so what were your main takeaways from such a big company like Microsoft I think kind of starting at my, my career at Microsoft was really good because it built a very strong technical foundation for myself like the principles and the cultural practices I have I think they all got formated for me at Microsoft and it was it built a really strong foundation for me to then build up that um, into the next set of like startups that I worked at. After Microsoft you started to work, to work for Wealthfront which is like really cool fintech company in the Bay Area and you grow from software engineering to engineering director which is really cool and a lot of responsibility yeah but why did you decide to move from a big company like Microsoft to a smaller one I think it's because of the impact that you can make so you know when you're working for a big company you're a little fish in like a big ocean versus like you know you when you work for a smaller company and for a smaller startup you are almost like a big fish in a pond uh, and the amount of growth that you can just like see and appreciate um, you 
a lot of times you end up just growing with the startup, which is actually what happened in my case. Like I grew as Wealthfront grew. For you, how was the transition from a more sovereign engineering position to a leadership position? I think to be honest, the first set of um, change that you see, uh, you really have to change your own mindset because again, as a software engineer, you, you're trying your best to get the code out. You're trying to code as fast. You're trying to make sure everything is on track. And when you move into a lead position, you're more responsible for making sure that the project is on track. You also need to get yourself off the critical path for a lot of tasks. And you have to almost entrust others around you with the responsibility. So earlier, all the responsibility, uh, or you mitigated risk by taking on the most challenging task and like the biggest responsibility. Now you have to actively give that away and find another like person that you can entrust that with. Um, and I think changing that mindset was probably like the biggest change that I had to um, accommodate. But after that, it was about the impact that you can make. I feel the impact that you could, I could make as a leader um, was a lot more significant just than being a one person um, army myself. <laughs> yeah. Video, it's over. That's all. But you can still watch more videos. Maybe you can enjoy this video. Or maybe you can enjoy this video. Or maybe this one. Or you know what? Maybe you can watch all of them. And by the way, if you really enjoy the channel, subscribe right here. Just one click and you